guys welcome back to another video so to achieve this braided cap all you need is a pair of scissors a card two packs of braids a hat some tread and an eagle So I'm using the expression here in 42 inch and all I do I just place it over the card and begin to twist it straight down to the end And as you can see guys, I'm still wearing my spring twist braids. It's on my page. If you guys haven't yet, check it out. You can go ahead and do so. So I went ahead and twist those off camera. And now I'm back with the last one. I actually did 10 twists in this color. We didn't want to do too much this bright color because it's bright enough it's going to make the other color that is more darker pop so we don't need a lot because it is already a bright color so we don't need a lot of that light color So I'm just cutting the ear, this expression in the inch 84 into three. The darker color here is in number 30 or color 30. and stretching it because this one did not come pre-stretched so i'm just stretching it to get the ends so that after i finish twisting it they don't they don't pull back out So here my husband wanted to speed up the video but because he see that I was going so fast he said oh you're going so fast I don't have to speed up the video here. <laughs>
and look look at those colors blend together looks so beautiful So I'm finished with twisting. I actually did 46 twists. I really wanted to be 50, but the 46 can work. I think it's I still get a full full look. And that's what I was going for. A full look. I didn't want to look too, you know, too little on the cap. I wanted to look full. Okay, now I'm all done and I'm just removing those loose ends from off the twist as much as possible. I'm just knitting the thread. You have to make sure the thread is not. You tie the end of the thread. So before you start sewing the braids to the cap because the braids will fall off if you don't knot it. And you're gonna make sure you place the braids at the brim of the cap. Not at the end, but the hair that is touching your head. Also make sure that you bought a cap or get a cap that is bigger than your head because the remember that the braid is gonna go on the cap and it will be too tight if if the cap is small. So you have to make sure the cap is a little bit bigger than your head. And that extra space the braids will fill it up so here I was doing it one at a time and keep on knotting it after I do each one then I realized after I did five that I could just sew everything at once and then when I'm finished just make one knot at the end so almost through with the cap and then it go straight around to the two sides of the cap and now i'm just going back through the each braids and filling each gaps so that i can get a fuller look because i think that wasn't enough and i had 20 twists left that wasn't on the cap so i just did that and here I'm just showing you how I, I knot the thread after I finish. I just place the, the thread over the needle and just pull it through. See, I'm finished and look at that. It's full and nice. No one can tell you that your hair is not braided under that cap. No one can tell you that you're wearing a braided cap. So you need this cap. You need the style for whenever your hair is not comb 
and if you need to go on the road but you still need to look nice you just draw for your cap your braided cap and you just put on it and you look nice and no one can tell you that you're wearing a braided cap or if you're going to the salon and you pull out your hair you want to go on the road with your hair looking messy and all over the place you know you're going to the salon you can put on your cap you can just have your hair top back and pin up and then just put on your cap just like that so now i'm just dipping the braids in the hot water to get it more soft because you can see it they are very tight and all over the place so no i'm just getting it soft and so that it can fall nicely when you put the cap on your head And look, you can see it look manageable after it placed in the hot water. It looks very manageable and it falls nicely. And I'm just removing some excess water with a towel. And I just place the and just leave the cap there to dry with the hair. And there you have it. Let me know if you will try this style or if you want me to build one of these braided caps for you. I'll let you know the cost. Until next time, guys, just go and stay fresh like a fresh vegetable. Bye. Mm -hmm.